Have you heard of moringa honey? What makes this type of honey unique is its woody flavor. This is N. Dandayudapani, a 53 year old farmer and beekeeper from the Kaveri Delta region. For the past two decades, he has been growing moringa honey in Kurumbapatti. His beekeeping enterprise produces 5 tons of moringa honey in Tamil Nadu and 12 tons in Karnataka per year. Women workers at the farm are seen kitted out in netted beekeeper hats. They light up a small bundle of coconut fiber. It is then placed in a metal container and the smoke filter is let through a wooden hive box. The buzzing inside would then seem to slacken a bit. They then open the top and calmly pull out wooden frames filled with the busy insects to check the bees' progress. After two weeks, the honey is ready for harvest. It takes nearly a year for a bee colony to take shape and regular maintenance is essential for beekeeping. Dandayudapani's farm uses artificial rearing techniques to convert the larvae of a worker bee into a queen bee. He began his quest for pure honey over 20 years ago. He felt that the commercially sold varieties all seem to be using flavor enhancers or sweeteners. Dandayudapani says that the honey could only be got from the beehives found in the wild. Annai teni panela nanga valathittu irukirathu Italia ragat tenikal. Indha tenikal vande adhigalavu ten utpathi seiyakudiyathu. Adu mattum illa idhula vande floral fertility ena padugindra malar viswasam idhula adhigam. Besides moringa honey, he also has bee colonies working on nectars from tumbaipu, mango and chili blossoms. <laughs>